in the squalid marshes of Sis, in the long-forgotten land of Europa, two root-starved regiments stumbled into the frozen mists of a rotten cemetery. Frigid and hungry were the forces of Von Sklerg, the 82nd Radish Rifles of the Grand Vegemote, and Lady Ileana leading the 221st Street Sweeper Gutter Snipes would fight over these frosty crypts, hoping to find some edible preserves or perhaps even a bottle of real wine that had not yet turned to vinegar. The Vegemone brought musket wheeling fodder trained by Strangling Harry himself. A great carrot cannon stump gun prepares to fire vitamin A laced grape shot, flanked by the thickest of brutes inside their rusting suits of pig iron, and trailing slime behind them, Von Squirk's very own snail riding bastards, a notorious trio of pure speed and destruction. The Street Sweepers Union brought their bespoke gutter snipes, stealthy city-born killers capable of ambushing from anywhere on the battlefield. Lady Ileana's three idiot sons riding their root steeds would surely be a great asset to the battle. A squad of elite melee brutes and black powder fodder were also hired, begrudgingly joining the janitorial union under the promises of being allowed to eat from as many bins as they could. Both forces deploy equally across the width of the battlefield, with the Vegemony Karakennen taking the northern flank, the Snell riding bastards to the south. The Sweet Sweeper Union takes a strong position up the middle, hoping to worm their overwhelming presence into the center battlefield to deny the Vegemony forces, while their murderous gutter snipes lie in wait, ready to ambush. Von Sklerk deploys in response, choring up his Snellvery advance with his fodder, to which he leads personally from the rear. Lady Ileana fired her chimney pot to yell. So she's got, she's got uh, some sharp shooters, so she can hit whatever she wants. And cool. she's going to try and plank one wound off of your brutes. On a two. This is three. But the thick brute's armor is steadfast against the sniper rat. Well, the bastards. I save. Success. And then you get to... Uh, Returning fire, the carrot cannon looses a shot into the simpering sons of the street sweepers and a bastard is blown clean off his horse riding, gaining a panic token from the get-go. With the preliminary bombardments complete, the battle commences truly. First to move was the Brutes, taking refuge from the enemy fodder behind a fortified shrubbery. Von Sklerk orders his fodder into the dangerous wood. Then loses one of his men to the perilous thicket, probably tripping on a stick and just being trampled by their allies. The janitor's union fodder loses a salvo of black powder into the enemy infantry. and fells four of them, reducing them to a measly seven. Seeing an opportunity to blast the enemy brutes, the carrot cannon is ordered to aim and fire, but the idiot toady mispronounces the order, and the carrot cannon can only hit on sixes. Which they don't. For now, Lady Ileana's brutes were safe. The gutter snipes fired their rifles into the enemy brutes, Filling exactly one. The thick ah. brutes are rattled but give no ground. Witnessing their fallen brother march towards the gutter snipes, preparing to charge them in the subsequent turn. The two remaining bastards, stricken with fear from the cannon shot they withstood earlier, Crap. Ready to roll. Roll one. they blunder their order to charge, falling back to the nearest board edge and almost completely fleeing the battle. Last to move are the Vegemony Bastards, as they advance up the field. <laughs> Seeing her imbecile sons bungle their first order, Lady Ileana is first to act, ordering them again to charge. Tripping over their dead comrades and failing their charge into the brutes a second time. Mm -hmm. 
Von Sklerg sees this opening and orders his fodder to move and shoot the enemy, but blunders himself and moves too slowly to make it into range. To preserve their safety, the janitorial fodder move further away from the snaily bastards, who are slowly but surely making their way towards them. The cannon prepares to fire, but a gutter snipe ambush is sprung! The cannon is forced to fire into the deadly knot assassins and blows three away with the flurry of grape shot. Thinking to preserve the lives of the bastards, the brutes leap into action, charging through dangerous terrain into the Vegemony's thick brutes. Unfortunately, the toady blunders the order as well, and they fail the charge and lose three of their number to the difficult terrain. Sensing a rare opportunity to slay the janitor fodder, the snail riders charge forward into the fray. One being slain by a low-hanging tree branch, their bow-loosening charge causes the fodder to flee at the wretched sight of them. The fodder narrowly escapes with their lives for now. The Vegemony Broods dispatch the Street Sweeper bastards in a scene too sickening to show on network television. And Lady Ileana sheds a single tear of white hot rage. Seeing a chance to redeem themselves, the Street Sweeper Brutes charge their counterparts, but lose another man to the deadly forest, however managing to survive the slaughter of combat. Von Sklerg yet again orders his fodder to move and fire, but he is too caught up in the moment and blunders his order. Another man is yet killed by the foliage. Due to their poor tactical positioning, the fodder must instead take aim at the lone gutter snipe, and despite their superior numbers, entirely fail to land any shots. Nothing of note happens, and everyone walks away from the shooting engagement unharmed. Showing the true might of black powder, the janitorial fodder blasts the snail running bastards into escargo. The Vegemony artillery officer runs screaming into the lone surviving gutter snipe, attempting to skewer him with his trusty bayonet, but his attacks are no match for the deadly knife work of the rooftop assassin. The gutter snipe lands the killing blow and wins the melee bout. Lady Ileana readies her chimney pot Giselle once again and fires into the two remaining Vegemony bastards, felling one and leaving just but a single one to fight. In an almost fervent fit of panic, the final thick brute charges into the enemy. Several rounds of combat go on, but the Street Sweeper manages to land the killing blow. The lone surviving gutter snipe attempts to flee from the range of the carrot cannon, as it loses a volley of 14 dice. Yet none manage to make purchase. The lone gutter snipe stands defiant, but with soiled pantaloons. And with few remaining forces on the field, it has truly become a battle of last stands. With most of each force depleted, the fodder run around dispatching various officers and toadies. This is mostly to make their leaders feel good about themselves and does nothing for points. Von Sklerg orders his remaining fodder to take the central garden bunker in the hopes of securing enough ground to win the day. But are chastised by the Street Sweeper Union rep. And the carrot cannon aims and blows the Street Sweeper toady into a fine red mist. We've got your news right here, you dastard. The final orders are heard. Two Street Sweeper soldiers must move to capture Precious Mausoleum. It's just down to me not fucking up two dice. If I roll a one on this guy, or a one on that guy, I lose. And a single blunder would spell disaster for any chance of victory for the Street Sweepers. So, I need to not roll a one here. So he's, gonna, he's just gonna move, which will flip this objective over to me. And then it's over to you again. 
The holdout gutter snipe clutches the final objective and wins the game, after surviving two point-blank grape shots, a tussle with a toady, and several volleys from black powder shots. This scrappy city boy has secured victory for the street sweepers. Von Sklerk, alive but embarrassed, would return to the Vegemony to begin gathering his forces again. Lady Ileana and her remaining street sweepers would celebrate their victory by boiling themselves a hearty soup made from the bones found in the tombs, which were not people stop asking questions. Truly, it was one of the battles of all time. This has been Turnip28, and our battle report for it. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've had playing it. We're really looking forward to making more content like this. We've been Hammer Pattern, you've been you. Like, share, subscribe, you know what to do. Remember to eat your veggies, and we'll see you on the next one.